Okay, in this one I thought I'd just show you a simple way to make a YouTube manometer. It's water filled, so there's really it's really not complex to build and it is pretty accurate. So I have some 3 16 tubing, I have a 1/8 uh, male pipe thread by 3 16 bar because I have 3 16 tubing, and I got some little clampy poos. So I'm going to show you how this thing is put together. It, you can put it together in a half hour to an hour, so pretty simple. Okay, now we have the finished YouTube manometer. Remember, 3 16 tubing. You can use bigger tubing. Sometimes it's a little easier to use bigger tubing. But this stuff, I had it here, and these little brackets fit really good on it. Those are uh, brackets for uh, coax cable. And I've made a slide here with my scale. So I've centered my scale on the 6 inch mark. I've filled this thing with, uh, this is actually just water it, uh, with food coloring in it. Uh, probably the best stuff is the uh, red gauge oil. Uh, it doesn't freeze. It's also kind of a pain because it stains everything. It seems to get everywhere. Uh, but, you know, there's very little to this. This uh, slide here is set up so that you can zero it. And I'm zeroing it six inches here. So as the, the pressure increases here, if I go from six to five, that's actually two inches because I take both the rise on this side and the drop on this side. So if that's two inches, four inches, six inches, eight inches. And I'll show you that on a uh, gas appliance, and you can see how it works. But, you know, this is just a hokey little simple thing. Uh, put a little hook on the top. If you can set up a spirit level on it, that would be good. Not absolutely necessary as long as it's reasonably close. But when you put your oil in this or your water, whatever you're putting in it, you put it in there. And, and then you make this slide adjustment on the uh, on the ruler to zero it out at whatever you want to zero it at. So pretty simple. Uh, obviously, this is what hooks up to the uh, gas valve port. In another video, I'll show this thing in operation, and I'll show you the gas input pressure, and then I'll show you manifold pressure testing with this little tester. So let's take a look at uh, what it does on the furnace. Okay, the finished manometer is installed. I've uh, corrected the level to the six inch mark. Now I can connect up to the gas valve. Okay, now that's connected and I'm gonna go ahead and put gas to this and I should show about eight inches water column. Now when I look at this, I set this at six one, two, three, four. It's pretty much right on. It's a little bit under, which is probably what the pressure is. Okay, four times two is eight. Because the way you're reading it is the amount it goes down is the same amount as it goes up. And so you simply double your reading. Pretty simple little uh, manometer. Ideally, it should be level. And probably can't see that very well but it's pretty close to level there now if you want you can put a spirit level on it but you've got to calibrate it right but you, you'll notice there isn't a lot of difference there's a little bit as I get out but it's not huge so uh, that's the manometer simple little thing that you can use to uh, test things like uh, gas pressure. You could use it for propane too. Uh, I'd maybe want a little longer scale on it, but you know I'm using just a scale I had floating around here. But uh, it won't work for things like pressure switches because that would have to be a slope gauge, which it's kind of like having the thing way like this. Anyway, that is a simple water tube manometer for testing gas pressure on gas furnaces.